There are states that have fought for a full-on ban on abortion, including in cases of incest and rape. And I'm sorry, but if somebody doesn't consent to a baby being in their body anymore, then that baby doesn't need to be in their body anymore. I don't want somebody like that being forced to be a mother. Guys, Texas decided that uh, plan A was to nix plan B. And you'll understand why I made that terrible joke here in about a minute. But first, let's get into the fan art section, everybody. The first bit of fan art we have today, and the, this is going to be the case for quite a few of these. This one is from the lovely Jet Fatigue. So this is going to be a lot, starting with a repost of the original Whole Chan comic with a little edit for Nova's new name. For those who do not know, uh, Nova did come out as trans soul. Yeah. What does purple taste like? Bliss don't. Oh my god. Et tu, Nova? Does anyone else want to taste? There we go, sorry. I should, bleh. Fan art section. I forgot to actually show the fan art section. I'm dumb. So what does purple taste like? Blizz, don't do it. Oh my God. At two, Nova? Does anyone else want a taste? Oh, good Lord. Behold, Black Hole Chan. I believe this was the birth of Black Hole Chan. This is when it all went down. Uh, also, sidebar, for those who haven't already, maybe, maybe go follow Nova over on his stream over at twitch.tv slash NovaLightVT. M maybe do that. We do we do that shout out so it goes into the YouTube video because good friend. Anyway, the next one we have is also from Jet and this is a long Cirrus. We have one long slimy cat. Aww. He looks so panicked. The claws are out too. As always, everybody, thank you all for your fan art submissions. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future video, the best way to do so is to drop it into the fan art section of the Discord. With that all said, if you haven't already, please hit the bell notification icon. And even if you can do me a giant favor, please subscribe. That would be amazing. We just crossed 50,000 subscribers, and I am incredibly excited that that threshold was finally reached. And I... I cannot wait till the next one because I want my silver YouTube play button. That would, that would be cool. I would like that. Anyway, guys, guys, apparently an abortion pill could be pulled off the market by a Texas lawsuit. I can't wait to see the logic for this. A Texas lawsuit with a key deadline this month is posing a threat to the nationwide availability of medical abortion, or medication abortion, which now accounts for the majority of abortions in the United States. The case filed by abortion opponents who helped challenge Roe v. Wade seeks to reverse a decades-old approval by the Food and Drug Administration. If a federal judge appointed by President Donald Trump sides with them, it could halt the supply of the drug uh, Mifespertone in all states, both where abortion is banned and where it remains remains legal. It could have an immediate impact on the country, said Mini Tia Miraju, a president of the NARAL, Pro-Choice America. In some ways, this is a backdoor ban on abortion. So yeah, just so you guys know, there's two ways to ban a thing in the country. In, in the country. You can either ban the thing outright, like banning abortion, or you can make it to where all of the ways that people could logistically have one are taken out. This is a way to try to slowly take out people's access to abortion. That's that's what this is. On Friday, a group of 22 Democratic-led states weighed in, saying the consequences of reversing the approval could be nothing short of catastrophic. A similar-sized group of Republican states also filed briefs that support the reversal, saying the ability to order pills by mail undermines their laws banning abortion. That's the point. You shouldn't have laws banning a, ne a necessary medical procedure. I'm sorry, I don't... I, I don't agree with doing that. U.S. District Judge Matthew uh, Kaxmarik has not indicated whether or uh, whether or when he will rule, but groups like uh, Timaraju that Timarajus have been preparing for a possible decision shortly after February 24th, filing uh, that, and that is the filing deadline. There is a scant precedent for a lone judge overruling the FDA scientific decisions, but a swift, a swift repeal of any ruling is likely. The lawsuit was filed by the group Alliance Defending Freedom, because of course it is. Remember, they are the Alliance Defending Freedom, so they want to take your freedoms away. That's what they're doing. That's what they always do. They're not defending freedom, they just want their very specific brand of freedom to be enforced, which isn't 
exactly freedom you know don't tell them that that would be that would be too logical a representative in congress created the fda and gave the fda the responsibility to make sure the drugs are safe before they're allowed on the market and the fda failed that responsibility said julie blake senior counsel for the group i mean technically they are right the fda has failed in the responsibility for making sure that certain things are safe for us they have a tendency to be bought out by lobby groups Maybe she should go that route. They argue that the FDA overstepped its authority in approving uh, Mifespertone by using an accelerated review process reserved for drugs that treat serious or life-threatening illnesses. I think pregnancy is pretty serious. In its legal response, the agency said that it didn't accelerate the drug's approval, which came four years after the manufacturer first submitted its application to market the pill. The FDA approved uh, Mifespertone in combination with a second drug as safe and effective as a method for ending a pregnancy in 2000. Common side effects include cramping and light bleeding, and cases of more severe bleeding may require emergency care, but those are very rare. And of course, Smiling Game Master comes in to make me when I'm trying to talk about something very important. He drops 50,001 channel points on a fucking uwu. Uwu. Are, are you happy? Did you get what you wanted? Did you get that thing you needed? Is that, are you happy? Cool. In late 2021, the FDA removed a requirement that women pick up the drug in person. Last month, the agency dropped another requirement that prevented most pharmacies from dispensing the pill. Medication abortion accounted for over half of abortions before Roe v. Wade, according to research from the Guttmacher Institute. It's grown more important since then, said Elizabeth Nash, state policy analyst for the science-based research group that supports abortion rights. The clinics that are open in the receiving states are stretched thin, and they don't have a lot of give in their capacity of being able to provide medication abortion. Being able to provide that is very, very important, so stretching them super thin with that. It's, it's again, it's just ways of making it to where it's not illegal to get those kinds of abortions, but certainly makes it more and more impractical. Abortion medication is approved for use up to the 10th week of pregnancy. Mifespertone is taken first, swallowed by mouth. The drug dilates the cervix and blocks the effects of the hormone progesterone, which is needed to sustain a pregnancy. Uh, misoprost uh, misoprostol, a drug also used to treat stomach ulcers, is taken 24 to 48 hours later. It causes the uterus to cramp and contract, causing bleeding and expelling pregnancy tissue. The combination has been shown to be more than 95% effective in ending pregnancies up to 10 weeks. If mifespertone is pulled, providers could prescribe uh, misoprotol alone instead, an approach that is used in many parts of the world, but it would be a big shift in United States practice and has not been found to be quite as effective. Such a ruling could also increase the need for surgical abortion and further increase wait times at clinics, which again is the point. That's not a side effect. That's what they are looking to do in the first place. So I don't know what to say about this aside from the fact that it's very strange to me that the party of people who talk about defending people's freedoms and defending their choices and trying to have just more freedom for all and smaller government is always, always, always trying to make it to where people have fewer and fewer freedoms and they are trying to, oh, that was a burp that was not supposed to come out. And they're always trying to expand the reach of the government. It's just strange to me. Said what freedoms? Well, in this case, a freedom to choose what does or does not stay in your body. There are states that have fought for a full-on ban on abortion, including in cases of incest and rape. And I'm sorry, but if somebody doesn't consent to a baby being in their body anymore, then that baby doesn't need to be in their body anymore. I don't want somebody like that being forced to be a mother. That's, uh, while there's certainly people who might become very fit mothers in those scenarios, I don't think it's necessary. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you're in Texas, maybe write your congressman as best you can. I don't know if those words will fall on deaf ears, but maybe it's a good idea. God, why am I yawning? But maybe it's a good idea to try anyway. As always, everybody, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hit the like button and... Insert down the video tagline here.